All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, it's me and Strifecore this time around. Apparently, Regful is... Oh, you, you seem a little bit out of the frame, I think. Um, we'll have to move this cam a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm used to doing cam adjustment. I, I do that for a living for yeah. a very famous company. Yeah, bro. Where a lot of people cam on. So, yeah. it's, it's not Twitch, but it could be the next Twitch. This camera is not working, so my cam adjustment skills are obviously off. I'm first place right now. You're, you're 5, good. 5,900 points. You're, you're good, Strive Pro. Chalky with second place. Yes, and Purple but with Strive the Pro draft is right, now. In the lead right now. So Purple here is mad. So Purple will be facing off against Orange. Orange has paid 1,500 Amaz points to get the ability to draft three times and see the last 10 cards in his draft. You know what it's like to face off against uh, opponents who, you know, play good decks. Yeah. So, no. No, you don't? Okay. No, so, Trump. you just wrecked Trump. Purple's going to be yeah. drafting no Hunter, I mean, no Mage, no Paladin, no Rogue. So, he's going to go for Shaman, which is actually not too bad in Arena, given that you can find some decent tempo cards. Right now, we're Shaman not is, seeing the deck. Shaman is something you pick if if you want to tell everyone you're better than them. Yeah. Like, I'm going to pick the worst class, but I'm so good. I'm going to show everyone what's up. Right. Strife Crow knows what's up. Yeah, Would what? you have picked Shaman? Strife Crow, Strife Crow. What? Your expert advice. Would you have picked Shaman if you'd been given the chance? What were the other options? Well, like, let's assume there's, like, Shaman. Let's say, like, Shaman, Mage, and Rogue. Right. I would pick Shaman because, okay. yeah, I want to show everyone what's up. Okay. So, it's, Strife Crow is really, like, you're just a baller. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah, bro. So, Purple here is, um... Oh, he's quitting. No, no, he's okay. going to make the screen bigger so that we can see the deck. As I was okay. saying, we have also, some issues with okay. the this visual display. Um, so, that was a problem. And now, Purple says two Fire Elementals, looking at the camera. Looking good, looking good. Yeah. Two Fire Elementals. Purple's looking swaggy. On track. On Defender track of Argus. Four. Defender of Argus and Shaman. This is really good. Yeah, Defender of Argus, very good card in Shaman. You have the totems. You can buff up the totems. One, three is better than zero, two. Yeah. Unless you're faced off against a guy who Cabal Shadow Priest it, mm -hmm. or Shadow Madness is it, then Crazed Alchemist, yeah. into Divine Spirit, Divine Spirit, Divine oh. Spirit. Oh. Yeah, something fancy. You know, it happens. Yeah, you're right. Maybe not, not in that strictly, order, but... It's not, one three is not strictly better than zero two. Or right, um, just situationally better. But Zapomatic is great. There was a Wind like Fury him. option earlier. Oh, he picked the Zappo. Yeah. I guess he has a lot of big stuff already. I think the idea right now, and we have to focus here a little bit, Strife Crow, because we've been a bit all over the place. I know you're excited for being in such a good position in the tournament, but um, there is an argument to be made for just going very aggressive as Shaman in Arena. Uh, given that he's got the abusive two wind fury minions, right, and he's yeah. got the fire elementals and a fell reaper actually, and a wind speaker, he can actually kill someone extremely fast. Uh, right, two whirling zap Maddox, even something like an abusive sergeant. That's 10 yeah. Damage well, turn. there we go. Mogor's oh, champion. What about uh, bloodlust on the whirling zap Maddox? Stay no. on track, and you pick the Qualdir to get bigger dudes to win fury. Mogor's champion again, very okay, good. Doom oh Hammer. my god! Doomhammer? It's gotta be Doomhammer. It's gotta be Doomhammer. Right? Well, you he, need didn't even, he didn't even pick the Lava Shock for Elemental Destruction. Yeah, well Doomhammer also wants you to play Lava Shock, but again, he's got other alternatives that he can play on Curve. Oh, he can't uh, see the Elemental Destruction. That's the- no wait, he can. That's the he last can. card he gets to see, though. Oh, okay, okay. So, going forward, if a Rock is in the middle, he will not know. It's actually pretty close, right? Because Elemental Destruction is an amazing card, too. You have to be able to follow it up with, uh, you know, pressure, and he's got that kind of pressure. Dark Iron Dwarf. Definitely Dark Iron Dwarf. Very good pickup there. Double Rolling Zapmatics. Injured Blade Master, pretty good three drop to play. Yeah. Uh, so his deck looks pretty good right now. I'd say oh he my probably, goodness! I'd say he probably wants to go a little bit more on the uh, twos. Oh no! Blind pick the mech. Oh, wow, nice, nice, unbelievable. He, that's just what I was saying. He needed just a little bit more twos. Yeah, and he got them, and he's got a Tusker Totemic in the center as well. If he's if he wants to try for it, if he wants to try for it. Yeah, I think I'd probably just take the Worgen, though, with how much uh, it's good. buff cards with, that he has with Wind Fury and uh, Defender of Argus. Absolutely. Makes a lot of sense. And now the Zombie, zombie Chow, Chow gives him okay. crazy good That's early game lot. control. How many mechs does he have? A lot, actually, with two Worlds. Yeah, and yeah. the Mech Warper makes it good as well. Micro Machine is sweet. Fell the Gorilla River. Bot gives yeah, you card definitely. draw. Okay, that's crazy. Zombie Chows are so good in this format. Well, Genie of Zephyrs could have used... Uh, Does he have Wind Fury? No, he threw it out earlier. Did not want to pick it. So mm -hmm. do you try for the the middle card? Like, it could he be another Doomhammer. I would probably take the Jin. Would you it doesn't really? make sense to take Nogacy Witch, right? Because he only no. has... All his cards are both. Well, it is a 5 What? Five. That, but that is good, though! What? That is a good how outcome! Do you take, how do you take that when you have... Oh, my God. Okay, whatever. I'd say 5 mana, 5, 6 is pretty good. Four six. Four six. Why are you off the frame? Okay, okay, wait, this is way too low. We can see my PJ pants. I don't feel comfortable with that. Okay. You know, I do wear comfortable panties, and mm -hmm. they're private. Okay, there we go. 
You're looking good, Stripe Crow. Yeah. So um, we're going to be uh, waiting for Orange to draft. So Orange has three decks. He will be able to draft three decks. Uh, Purple's got another deck to build before he goes forward. We um, should do predictions after the draft, then. I, I, I think Purple, if he's got, like... So what do you think about Purple's first deck? It's bonkers. It's for bonkers. a deck that you just draft without the, uh, like, the Skamaz mm -hmm. deal, I think that's insane. I think it is insane. Pretty good. Well, I take the ooze over the creeper. Yeah, I mean, if you... even had Argus, too. Yeah, it, it's, it's uh, I think, a, a tough pick, but ooze mm -hmm. in Arena is really solid, knowing that Rogue and Paladin are so so good. Um, it's hard not to pick. I actually like Blessing Wisdom in Arena a lot. Um, it's kind of weird, right? Because you would think that it's like, you know, why get Wisdom? But actually, it turns a lot of cards into big threats and builds you that advantage over the game. Yeah, and when the opponent has a minion you don't want to deal with, sometimes just putting Wisdom on it is sufficient yeah. to just get you back in there. That's a bit of a clunky uh, clunky hand, but one of the things that Ginny does in Paladin yeah, is simply definitely. make your buffs <coughs> exceptionally strong. Paladin has a lot of buffs. And he already has a Blessing Wisdom. Yeah. And he has 20 cards to go, so I'm sure you can get... Probably one more buff if he wants to. Oh man. If he goes for I was gonna say if he goes for the double redemption without mini bot, that's very all in. Crusher, right? He's yep. drafting a very aggressive curve, so uh he's very likely to be able to activate his crusher. I think so. Like he picked up here a four drop that had basically no enablers just because it was a four drop. And that I makes think Purple's going for the uh the power drafting like one second or less every every yeah. draft. Yeah. That's his specialty. He's he's a good uh, quick drafter, right? Mm -hmm. Power drafting is a very known strategy. I mean, we know how well it ended for. Uh... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I mini bot. I probably take the mini bot here. Why? Why not? No, nah, I'd probably take it. Wait, when, when would you not? Right. Uh, when there's a Doctor Boom. <gasps> he missed out on Murloc Knight. Yeah, he couldn't see it. Yeah. It feels bad, man. You can't actually be a Doctor Boom on the right, huh? Pop. Never. Unstable Ghoul and Paladin is one of the worst. Wow. Oh, he mid picked. He it. mid picked. I was like, why do you pick Unstable oh, Ghoul and Paladin? He mid picked. You're gonna kill all your own minions. Picked up a good two drop there though, so that's one of the upsides. If he mid picks again, that's he a might two actually drop. mid pick. Okay. But he wants more late game. Looks like uh, protector. It's a very quick drafter. Now Dread Corsair without True Silver is fast. Oh. <laughs> Wait, wait. He's he did got, such a fast mid pick. Didn't he's he's got Darwolf Alpha. Yeah. So Does let, he? let's not. Okay. Uh, please, please mid pick. Do it. No, that one's bad. Mid pick, purple. Uh, Do it. Awkward. Just. I, I, normally with this kind oh, of. Oh, he did it! Oh, <laughs> three bad mid picks. Oh, purple. I was going to say, Twilight Drake is a very bad card for this Oh, type my deck. God. Okay. <laughs> he got every single mid bad pick. mid pick. Three of three, right? Yeah. Three of this three. Is, this is the best. This is the best example we've had of somebody getting punished for not taking the uh, Amaz's cleansing of the curse. Uh, um, yeah, I I, uh, I had one bad mid pick, but it was okay. It yeah, wasn't it that bad. Like, and you got given an ancient watcher that did a lot of work. Yeah, so that was yeah. pretty okay. So again, for those of you who might not know what we're talking about, basically, if uh, you uh, you haven't been here, the way it's working is basically every player starts with five thousand Amaz points, and then as Amaz deals um, come up, right? And you can yeah. spend your Amaz points on those Amaz deals. Technically, no one really knows what the Skamaz deals are. Nope. Even the players didn't really know how to even take the deals, just basically first come, first serve. Right. So yeah. they kind of just bid. They say, yeah, I want to buy this Kamaz deal, and then Amaz gives you a gift. And in this case, the gift was every player is going to be unable to see the last 10 cards of their drafts and only build two decks that they have to play with. But if you bought this Kamaz deal, you actually got a bit three. of a bonus. You can yes. draft three decks, and you see the cards in the middle. Um, the thing is, Shockey paid only 500 for his uh, advantage. Got the best deal. And uh, I think Orange picked it up for 1500 So he's going to be drafting here three decks, but it cost him a lot compared to, um, to Shockey. So if Orange is not able to get the wins, then it might actually not even be a good investment. Oh, yeah, definitely. If you get eighth place and you take the 1,500 Skimals yeah. points... Not worth. You're done, Zeus. Yeah. And the worst part is if you take it and you forget that you're you know triple drafting, then you also take a point penalty mm. if you take like three times the same cards. So. That's true. We're gonna wait for orange. Um, so oh yeah, the more you draft, the more chances you have to mess up. Yeah. So say you draft like ten drafts, you keep messing up. You just you lose all your points. Yeah, orange could definitely do that. Um, do you think orange is a good player? Like on a scale of one to three, do you think orange is okay? I think uh, probably two. Two. Yeah, okay. He's like in the middle. So you'd it's say like, like orange, like if you had to rate him, basically like I'm gonna extrapolate this. It's like he's all right. One to three, it would be like a fifty percent. He's like exactly in the middle of the back. Yeah. Okay. So orange is an average player. 
I mean, you're only giving one to three, so sure. That, but that's the, that's the that, yeah. well, you know, I mean, I rate them two than three. don't don't make the numbers say things they okay. don't say. Okay? okay, I say one to three. You say two. I say, two. I say fifty percent. I say average. Yeah, you I said say average. Agreed. Okay. Bad teacher. Good. This Spells is actually weird. looking good. He got flame trick in his first draft or some second yeah. draft blizzard in flame trick. That must feel good. It's pretty unlikely <coughs> nowadays to to see as like you know as many flame strikes yeah. as you want. You immediately know what kind of deck you can build. I'm assuming he's going for like a late game control deck with uh outvaluing their opponent. Kind of a lot of big mana cards yeah. probably. Do you like uh like have you played a lot of arena recently since constructed maybe you find the a bit less appealing. Like, have you have you ever gone on a crazy arena streak where you just played a lot? Mm, not too mm. much, but I play it here and there. Okay. Yeah. So occasionally you'll, uh, you know, the arena meta a little bit. Legendary. Oh wow! Everything is bad, but Elise is the least bad of the bads. Elise is yeah yeah yeah. I think you're right. There's no one mana spells here, huh? What if Elise ends up coming into action though? That's so crazy. I I might just take Elise for the uh, like the comedic valley or like the right. golden moments, you know? Sure. Yeah. I I I, I mean, definitely that. not green skin, right? <laughs> well, Gazlo's probably the strongest card out of those because you can draft uh, one mana spells. Missiles is a one mana spell, but Ars Choir is actually a good card. Uh, that's so weird, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even Stormwind Champion, I mean, you can make a good case. I for. think the reason why is because uh, Gazlo's decent, even if you don't draft missiles, because you can get spare parts. Right, a lot right, out of so, the, like, even Tinker Town that yeah, you've got exactly. in your deck. Um, if you pick up decent mechs. Mm. So Orange is laughing, and I don't know why, because there's nothing funny there. He's not taking. He should have taken Green Skin with Smith, and then pick up Blinktron on the next oh, legendary. I, I see. Yeah, he's regretting it now. Uh, I kind of like the Toad of the Sheep here. Yeah, his deck is not aggro for the effect. I might have taken Sheep. Sheep's pretty good. I would have taken me. Uh, it depends because the thing is, right now he's like halfway through, and the deck strategy hasn't here. panned out like quite. Uh, yeah. Too precisely, so he doesn't know yet if he's gonna play hyper control or some kind of mid range deck. Right now, it's looking like it's very polarized, right? Yeah, I definitely like War Warmental or Polymorph there because, uh, like, if you're drafting like a high mana curve, Warmental is like the perfect card to stop early game aggression as a 3 right. 6, right? right? You can trade with multiple small minions, and uh, another Frostbolt yeah. gets picked up. If he runs into oh, Clockwork Gnome stays to here. You've already got the Gazlo. You might as well just play into that. You've got the yeah. Violet Teacher as well. The only thing here is, I feel like. He's going for like kind of a control deck with how he picked his uh, curve, but his he doesn't have bombs yet. He needs to pick up some bombs. Ah, that's a good bomb, though. That's a good bomb. That's a crazy bomb. Yeah. You, you've, you've actually played that in your deck, right? It didn't work, but... Well, it could have uh, worked if it hadn't <laughs> been dealt with. I was you had like to, an 8 yeah, damage turn. I was turn. trying to needle Trump into yeah. not killing anything. Yeah. yeah. So there's the option of trying to go for another Aspirant, um, which is like a format at 3-5. You can't really complain too much. It doesn't look like a, a bomb, but you've got a, like arcane missiles, yeah. double frost bolt, flame strike. It's pretty scary. Tiger is actually pretty good here because it's stealth and you play into your AOE turns six and seven. Yeah, and they so can't trade off before. The thing right now that I'm looking at from Orange's perspective is it feels like he swapped his uh, his strategy a little bit towards more of the tempo play, but his two tr like his two drop curve is lacking, mm -hmm. and if that doesn't pick up, yeah, and the last four cards. Switching. It's going to be tricky. Well, he does find good two drops, though. He did get a Jormunger now. Oh, man. I don't know if it's too like the switch into that control style now. No, it's, it's too, I yeah, think it's you need maybe. Late, no, it's a tempo mage now. Uh, <laughs> Pure Tor mage, but no secrets. Uh, you know what? I take Summoning Stone it's, for Dragon's Breath and uh, Flame Strike value. Because uh, I'm missing at least a 4 3. You need high damage maybe, at this point when you're drafting like this, I think. You can't just go all like three sixes. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Because then they're just going to drop a six six and you're going to cry after. Yeah, they play Crusher and you have no Fireballs yeah. in the deck, right? No Polymorphs as yeah. well. You skip those. Um, a bit tricky. So, uh, I mean, he picked Mage, which is very cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. um, we, like, Rekful and I really don't like you guys for just taking <laughs> standard classes. You don't like us? Well, I like you as like an individual, right? <coughs> yeah. Outside of the context of like game, uh, mm -hmm. it's fine. Uh, but as soon as you start playing games and you take like the best class, yeah. when you say you would pick Shaman uh, if it were offered yeah, to you, it's, it's, it's like too try hard, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's that kind of like weird. he's gonna take Paladin here, right? Yeah. So I don't know, man. So you're saying Orange is is like me, right? Like the try hard. So like Orange is Strife Crow, Strife Crow is Trump, Trump is a Maz, is just what, but Purple is Noxious, right? Yeah, kind of that uh, or Wreckful, okay. whatever. Mm, okay, okay. So Dragon Paladin. It's actually a really good card, the uh, Dragon Consort on 5. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
Micro Machine is. I actually kind of never. I I I don't like Avenge that much in Arena for some reason. Yeah, it's, I was surprised. We were surprised you weird. didn't pick up. Yeah, yeah. It was there, so I straightforward saw a lot of Avengers, and it always feels weird to me for some reason. Yeah, I guess if you're playing like a long mm-hmm. arena run and you're hoping to get 12 wins, but in this type of format where it's mm-hmm. basically like you have to win once with a deck, I think it lends itself to a lot. Like the deck building portion of yeah. arena here is very different from one you would do if you were trying to get 12 yeah. wins, right? I had a lot of buffs like Double Seal Champion, so yeah. I figured that as long as I can get some kind of minion lead, because with Avenge, if, you have, if they just kill one minion at a time, you never get that buff. Yeah. So I just felt like if I can stick one minion, it'd be good enough, probably. So he picked up Muster for battle, and he's already got the Enhanced Mechano and possibly the Cold, Cold Master. Master is what? very good. Wow. And he's got... The, what? Yeah, no. Cold Master is so good. Uh, what? I agree. <laughs> C- come on. No, 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 dude, dude. Oh. You don't do this to me, Orange. You. The thing is, if he picks up Fell Reaver, mm-hmm. because it's not a 12-win run, it might work. Okay. Right. Fell is so powerful. Sword Justice actually per- This three is all very good, to be honest. I would probably be tempted to pick... I, after I picked up Mechanical Yeti, I think I'm Core tempted to go for Fell Reaver. not that great. But it sometimes allows you to blow... Like, just totally blow some out Well, well Double Avenge it makes the ability for you to keep those recruits on the board more relevant. If he gets another muster, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> just one more. Oh my god! <laughs> Why do you skip Quartermaster if you're gonna draft this? Not like this. A keeper of old man and consecrate. Here has one consecrate. I think his I think he might have been better off taking the keeper of old man. So I'll ask you one question in a spot like this. Do mm-hmm. you think he needs to start drafting twos before he loses the game? I because definitely agree. at this yeah. point it's pretty He doesn't have enough twos. Right. He's drafting okay for the late game, Murloc but Knight. yeah, more four drops. Not not gonna help. <laughs> Can you have enough Murloc Knights? Critical mass. You can't. You might have Frostal wanted to pick Warlord's very good. Anything can happen. Ooh, oh, that's a good pickup. Champion. Oh, but he needs more twos. Right now, the problem is here he has one seal champion. It doesn't have any minions early game. Yeah, he has like less than four two drops. Before. You need more flame jugglers. Like yeah. as much as tempting as these other two on the left may be, I think you you need to pick up another two drop at the very least. Yeah. I mean, he already picked up a one knife juggler. It's a crazy good card. <coughs> hmm. Micro Machine is like one of my least favorite. Oh. Really? Yeah. But Interesting. The Seal of Champion is great. Yeah. Mukla is good. <laughs> I, I think he should stop draft, drafting Warhurst screeners. <laughs> if he picked up the other one, I would have laughed. Yeah. I would have admittedly laughed. Um, so it looks like the deck is a pretty minion heavy deck. Mm-hmm. Not any choice over champions, but the, the amount of minions he's got is pretty good. Good amount of minions in an arena <laughs> deck. <laughs> got a lot of minions. So the trick here is because we have nothing to say, mm-hmm. we just stare at the camera very intently for okay. um, until the next game comes up, right? Yeah. So it's right there. Yeah. You, you stare at it right there. So that one or that one? That one. That one is for nothing. Okay. So next time it comes up, okay. just look into it and say deep things. If you pick up Rogue Orange, no! No, Orange, stop being a tryhard. That's it. Disqualified. How about a Maz minus 100 Amaz points? Yeah. If you pick all the best classes. Just fire him, right? He's got yeah. that power. Mm. Picked up Iron Sensei, so again, he's going to go for the... Uh, Bone Guard is very good. I love Bone Guard Lieutenant and Rogue. Uh, yeah. It can do a lot of work if you just coin it out, because your, your, your turn two is pretty good. Mm. Whereas when sometimes you pick up Goblin Auto Barber, which is great later, you can't play it as a coin play. Whereas this I one feel like can. Assassin's Blade, you want to be more of a face stack in a way. Because yeah. it's hard to trade that many hit points for minions, right? Right, that's uh, that's true. I mean, it really depends the way it's you build like, rogue because there's a lot. Of, like, I feel like today we just haven't seen mm-hmm. one rogue with like an aggro control draft with yeah. backstabs, abyss, yeah. um, even cold blast in yeah, some Trump cases. Have a very slow rogue. Everybody who drafted rogue found no backstab, mm-hmm. no abyss, not a single one. Right before I was gonna play Trump, I was like telling him I thought he had zero backstabs in his rogue. Yeah, just a ton of. That's it was pretty, pretty much, much what true. happened. Well, mm. uh, one of his shows up today, so... You definitely want to get as many of his rates, backstabs, and SIs as possible. I feel like, Those yeah. are like the core rogue tempo cards. That's kind of the case uh, in Arena. I mean, in Constructed, you'd probably still play a bunch of those anyway. Yeah, even in Constructed. Huh? There's an oil. I mean, he did skip the... I still think the I mean, oil is the Mukla best is card. Cr- pretty crazy sometimes, but... In rogue is probably the worst yeah. class, or one of the worst for Mukla champion. Yeah, it's hard to get enough minions on the board. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, okay. Mystery. Now this this could be the aggro control world that we just haven't seen yet, but it's missing more of the crazy two drops that stick. It does have a uh, ambusher? It's not bad. It's a great card for that type of deck. <coughs> yeah. I think it fits the uh, the line of deck building he's got going. You can on wail here. and soul your own ambusher to lose the, the blaze or the upside, depending on how you want to think of it. Blade flurry is great with deadly and oil setup. Oh wow! Yeah. That's crazy, actually. Oh, he's a sprint. You can play it That is road. insane. You just missing a prep. Play it oh, well, yeah. I mean, the I would consider the Anabar, maybe, prep. right? Would you play Anabar ever? Uh, I, oh, wow. my God. I feel like two oils is too much yeah. without prep. Yeah. I agree. I wish prep was here just to make him regret his decision. Yeah. Sabotage is pretty sweet, though. It's an assassinate uh, when there's only one minute on the board. Betrayal. I like Betrayal, but Worgen does a lot of work in Arena. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those things where you would maybe not play that in Constructed. Mm -hmm. um, but when you don't have Backstab, is the next best thing. His wow, actually... okay. He might go for Double Oil then. Yeah, the other cards are pretty poor. <laughs> Rogue, like, the thing you don't want most is, like, 1, 4, 1, 3 minions. Because yeah. you're almost always using spells to remove minions a lot. So you want to have high damage minions. So here I would have maybe considered... Uh, the zero cost, but he doesn't like it for the combo enabler of Tinkers a, and the the, the Avis, but He has a lot of removal already. I think I take Frost alone until here. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Assassinate is insane though in Arena, so uh -huh. it's hard to say no. It's really tough to say no to. Uh... I mean, you do have the sabotage. You have the flurry. You have the double Avis. You have and okay you, minions. Two I oils say. you can kind of use as removal. Frost one, so you can just like play it, freeze, start going face, yeah. push down. I think Ellie's good here. Yeah. He probably needs it to seal the game. Because usually what will happen with this deck, I feel, is the minions will not do anything synergy-wise, but they'll all go face. Yeah. And at some point, you'll Got just finish them off. Yeah. Wolf Rider's Wolf Rider. good. Pretty good. South Sea is insane for this deck. Oh, South Sea Oil is a nice combo. Uh, yep. You need cheap cards to activate combo, and that's the great, that's probably the best one. Uh, Gadget Sand, not as good as you might think in a spot like this. You might play just because yeah. it's the only card, just but the Wobbling Runs is okay, too. It's kind of weird, huh? Definitely weird. You don't have a ton of spells, but... Do you ever play Ancient Shade over any of these other two? Because it is, like, cheaper to play, and it is more aggressive if you're trying to play the aggro control. What is Ancient Shade? The 4-7-4. It gives you a curse in your deck. It's you, pretty good, maybe. Yeah. yeah, it's like the Venture Commerce scenario yeah. format, right? I mean, especially as a rogue, I think it's probably the best in rogue out of all the arena classes. Right. Because rogue, you can prevent the minion combat a lot with removal, so you can just keep hitting them. With yeah, yeah, I think you'd still want backstab, but yeah. I mean, if you don't have it, it's still less. Okay. All right, so we'll have orange versus the, um, well, purple deck. The shaman was good. The other deck, not so much, but, you know. Yeah. You should have the other deck the... was the one that he kept drafting the middle card. The big middle card, get yeah. Eerie's statue, and yeah. I forget what else. It was, it was horrible. But, you know, he deserves it. Should have paid his Amaz points. You don't You don't just say no to Skamaz. But he would have paid 2,000 at that point. He should have just done it earlier. Uh, I should have done it. Everyone should have done it earlier. M Purple especially. Yeah. Right? Wait, didn't Purple... Oh, uh, okay. I thought Purple might have... Paid. No, he thousand. didn't pay. He paid nothing. Okay, who are the people that paid? Orange paid, Admirable paid. We haven't seen Admirable draft. Oh, okay. um, he needs the <coughs> handicap though, so yeah. it's a good idea that he bought it. Why? It's tough to win this, this tournament. Okay, okay. Agreed. Yeah. So um, while we're waiting, guys, uh, huge thanks to uh, our sponsor, Fnatic. Twitch and uh, Jelly Belly Jelly being boozled. Belly being boozled. How, how big a fan are you of the Bean I'm Boozled big series? Fan. I, I love eating uh, puke and and uh, what's what are the other what, fart flavored? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sometimes what I do is. Uh, I, at my house, at my apartment, we have normal jelly beans. Yes. And sometimes I take the bean boozle ones and put a couple of them in the normal jelly beans. That's, and then that's I just great. Wait. I just wait. I'm like, all right. You just wait for people to do it? Yeah. 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 Do you ever trap yourself? Like, you uh, just, no, because I, like, I know. I don't eat those after okay. I eat bean boozle. That is clever. Yeah. That is clever. Yeah. I have my own private stash in my room of, like, non-tainted jelly beans. So, yeah. you got a lot of private stashes? Yeah. Mostly jelly beans? Yeah, mostly okay. jelly beans. Okay, that's good to know. Almost all jelly beans. Almost. So, almost all yeah. jelly beans. Yeah. Okay. Strike Cross pretty chill. Yeah. Uh, you want to give us, like, a, a crow fist? Yeah. The camera's right there. 
So we're technically waiting for the games to come out, but in the meantime, um, we were talking to you about the, the power of Jelly Belly, and mm -hmm. I mean, it can't be overstated. It cannot be overstated. It cannot. So what do you like about Jelly, Jelly Belly? It's the best. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just, it's like surprise in a box, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't know, I like it. Uh, one day, though, um, I'm hoping there's like a cross-promotion with Hearthstone. Uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of, a lot of stuff's cross-promoting with Hearthstone now. Yeah, Baseball. like you could have Jelly Belly cross-promoting, like you mm -hmm. might pick up a Lepernome. Like a Jelly oh, Belly, and that's that tastes like that pus, be, and that is so awful, cool. but yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get, um, you get like lepernome flavored Jelly Bean. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, what, what else would we put in there? I mean, I guess it depends, like, what exactly does a Lepernome taste like? <laughs> I don't want to know, but like it, okay. it, 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 it won't taste good, right? It, it won't taste um, good. I mean, they can make stuff up. Like what? Like what else could they? Like an ooze, maybe? Like they oh, could yeah, do yeah, the yeah, echoing yeah. ooze like, or something. Like slimes. I'm not slimy stuff. Right, slime, mm -hmm. leprechaun. Oh, consecrate, for, like super spicy. That would be like flame lance. Oh, right? flame strike. Like, oh, flame strike in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to get a flame strike uh -huh. in the mouth. The striper, uh -huh. it feels good every time. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's. It's a sticky spot to get out yeah. of, but like right now, I I don't know where the games are. Purple. They're putting us on the spot right now. I don't think they we're are. We're getting skimmers. They, they, they're, <laughs> they're just trying to make us talk forever. I mean, if I for all well, for all we know, the stream's off, right? Like, we, oh okay. Yeah, so be, you could technically chill. That'd be uh, unfortunate. I think that's something I must might do. Oh, yeah. Just like this, actually, like from our perspective, everything is normal. They're just making us talk, but they're actually already playing the games and. Other people are cast. I'll live another caster desk. Yeah, they stuck like Wreckful and Admirable and start casting. Shafi and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's um, where the orange is building a deck. He takes as long to build his decks as he takes to prepare before we go out. So he has three decks, right? Yeah. Okay, I know it's hard to build all the decks to transfer all the arena decks and. Yeah, because I mean they don't play an arena, right? Like, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Kind of so have you have to, to transfer that. all, and almost all the decks are like arena decks, or it's like thirty of one ofs in arena, so. Maybe you have like 25 one ofs. So you have yeah. to like click a lot. So um, I won't spoil anything, but mm -hmm. we've got a really crazy event. Okay. Like I've looked at all the planning of what's coming during the event, and uh, you guys are in for a treat. Is there a unstable portal tavern brawl? Is it up now? That would have mm, been cool. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's up because. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd, that'd oh, yeah, be a good idea. It's actually up this week. It would have been cool. Um, maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe after Moss Sears is, he'll change it. Into the tavern roll. Doesn't tell anyone. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, what do you think about the new cards? Um, like, are you are you excited for the future of Hearthstone? Yeah, definitely. I mean, for me, I actually, I'm actually more excited about the removal and the changes to classic than the new cards. I mean, new cards are really cool, and I like brewing a lot with them. But I actually feel like it's really the old like GVG next going away and the overhaul of classic that we haven't seen yet that's really going to be the yeah. most exciting uh, so like if i if you had to, to to voice your opinion on the matter would you say that you want to see a ton of changes to classic or just yeah, like a ton. few i want to see a ton of changes okay to classic. so you'll be disappointed different yeah like wanna, you'll be disappointed because there's be not that many oh okay um how do you know well uh, you know it's like uh, from what we heard okay. it was like 10 to, to 15 okay. or something yeah. like the ben bro alluded yeah. to that or yeah. mike donate but um i mean it's still a fun game yeah. you can sling cards yeah. still even without too many changes you know, I want to see some new tribes coming up. Yes. Like pirates. Yeah. Uh, Elemental feels like it would make sense with a new weapon, but they yeah. didn't do it. There's uh, another tribe. Ogres could have come of. out. Shulgar. Yeah, because mechs are kind of going away. Yep. And Death, Death, Death Rail is not really a tribe, but in a way, like Death Rail is kind of going away. There's so many Death Rails leaving, like Egg and Creeper and Treader. Would you like Undead? Uh, Death Rail minions. So you would call that a tribe? or No, but I still like it. It allows different decks to pop up. I actually am pretty excited about Murlocs and Pirates. Because uh, like a lot of the, a lot of the problems that Morlock and Pirate decks are like death I mean, it's just crush them every right? time. Yeah, yeah, because like Morlocks, they just like trade for Creeper, and they have two one ones left over too, or like Egg and Power Roll. So they outvalue you in the long yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, anyway. exactly. And oh, this game started. Well, you can finish your train of thought, right? Yeah. Orange is not that interesting. Yeah. Neither so is purple. <laughs> Wait, it's it's a battle of colors. We mm -hmm. got like oh, orange versus purple. Yeah, we're making like blackout mm -hmm. and green sheep. I'm gonna have to root for the purple people. Yeah, I agree. Purple is my one of my favorite colors. Orange! You're gonna face off against a bad shaman hand! Wait, what happened here? I don't know. Okay, that was a visual glitch. Yeah. Flashback. Maybe so both players with a really crappy hand. Strife Crow, oh, you're in battle net. 
It said you were playing. Yeah. Are you playing? Uh, yeah. Okay. I was. Oh, good, good pick up deck. there. No, That's it's not a top good. deck. It's not a top okay, deck. Okay, okay. Pretty good because he doesn't have anything to do on turn three. You can just pop the hero power. I hope there's Perfect an ooze man. coming out to punish him. There. Oh. It's not there. Purple's laughing why or spazzing. Is, wait, why, is, why is Purple so happy? What, what is Purple, Mr. Jaman? I think Orange said something funny. Oh. And Purple laughed. Um, so it's, it's like, okay. it's funny, right? Okay, this is an extremely slow rogue opening. Well, it'll get a lot better though, because Orange's <coughs> opener is also pretty slow. The upside of Orange's, uh, I mean, the Purple's opener that is with Shaman is pretty slow. The upside of Purple's end is that he's got a lot of up trades with Archon yeah. Dwarf and I mean, we Argus. know that Purple's, Purple's deck can kill the other person in like two or three turns once it starts going. Right. right? So, There's so many Wind Fury buff kind of stuff that you can, you can easily just completely blow orange out in a couple turns. That's actually a pretty good matchup, I think, for Shaman because Rogue is pretty reliant on hero power sometimes, and you're taking a lot of damage. Right. And since this deck is so aggressive, once you start taking damage from your hero power, you, you can just die very quickly. Yeah, it's one of the upsides of, uh, oh wow, the Fell Reaver on curve there. You've seen the coin though, so you've got to be a little worried, but if you don't do it, then when are you going to ever play it, right? Same yeah. uh, same idea as yeah. ever. He didn't have any other great plays. Argus looks like it kind of makes the trade a little bit better, but there is just the weapon anyways. Yeah. And you only get one target. So you can make the Shaman mill a few cards to see what was in that deck. Um, there's the upside of getting an extra spare part from the Yeti. So possibly freeze the Fell Reaver. That's oh, definitely a possibility. Crazy. If he freezes the Fell Reaver, oh no. Not quite As what I say, looking potentially for. Potentially you can mill out the entire deck. By the end of the coin game. freeze is already six. You play another card that you five drop. That's already nine cards gone. Yeah. And you start playing a couple more turns, you can actually win like that. But Look at that! It's a mid-range shaman turn. This is exactly <laughs> constructed worthy. Yeah, I mean this is a sl yeah. very slow opener for both players though. The main problem is Rogue has a very hard time making comebacks. I thought like when I was playing Trump that when I took the lead against Palm it was over, but he MC It wasn't, tech, yeah. Yeah, MC tech, but I mean without MC tech it's Rogue's it's I mean, I guess unless you have the oil blade so flurry mm -hmm. to make a comeback, right yes. now he doesn't have any part of that. So, yeah. It's, it also says on the right that Orange is playing oh, Cloud and Mage, but he's a, not. That's a pretty good top deck. It's a good draw. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's the type of draw that wins games yeah. on its own. There's an assassinate. No, is there? It's already been played. One of them has been played on the Fell Reaver. I don't. I, he drafted a sabotage as well, so that could help. But right now, it's not looking good. He can play the Storm and Champion to pop the Belcher. Okay, so that's not does, a... does Purple have Lethal next turn? He can Hero Power for 8 damage, Doomhammer for another 4? I don't think he's quite there. Um, I think there's a, there's a chance. There's a turn. 17 damage if you count the Belcher. The Belcher, yeah. But the Belcher's going to die, I guess. So if Orange is able to stabilize with this and kills the Zombie Chow, mm -hmm. it buys him a bit of extra time. He's got a Flurry. We know that much. Um, so it might just be a case of finding like a really Find good, uh, really good flurry on this board to finish everything off. But even then, this is not looking good. That is a rusty horn too. I wouldn't be surprised if orange makes a uh, purple makes a play that tries to protect the zombie chat somehow. Yeah, it makes a lot of that, sense. With the taunt. Yeah, he actually has uh, Argus too. Yeah, you, so. you could create like a stone claw out of that wrath of air totem. And just try to protect everything you've got. I like, kind of like that line of play, actually. Makes sense. Because if you play the Rusty Horn and Doomhammer now, then you're protecting the uh, not only your big damage dealer, the 8-8. <laughs> he's taking 10. I agree with this by the... That's all right. Yeah. And then he's going to taunt the 8-8. Eight, eight, no. yeah, you, make, you make two Stone Claws, right? Yeah. You force the, uh, the Rogue to have a Flurry with a Deadly or some kind of crazy turn. If he's yeah. got a Flurry, though, that's a full board clear with Assassin's Blade. Yeah. That makes sense to... Taunt the totem. You you want your 8 8 protected as well. Yeah, for sure. I was thinking too much about trying to keep your chow alive. Yeah, I think the chow, like, even if it dies. Yeah, I still have an uh, 8 8 or 10 10 next yeah. turn. Well, 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 Orange. So many options. Purple with a shaman. <laughs> oh, man. Orange just leaves. You know what? That's fine. You can admit you're, you've been beat. It seems like everyone that's getting the three graphs is winning. Is right? losing? Is winning. Winning? Well, Orange, Orange lost. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Shaman was purple. Right, like right. The thing is, purple right now has the worst deck in the history <clears throat> of the draft yeah. that we've seen today. I so. thought for some reason purple had three. No, he's got two. Okay. Um, so if uh, if that deck doesn't work for purple, 
which is very well might not, with Eerie Statue yeah. and Unstable he Ghoul and Paladin. He has a bunch of weird cards. Unstable Ghoul and Paladin is miserable. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, I will should I kill my whole board? Honor. We'll see. I mean, this is a decent hand for purple, at least. You know, this rogue, uh, this Paladin hand is alright. Gorillabot is actually a mech that benefits from a mech, so yes. if he can get this mech warper uh, alive by turn 3, it's a 3 mana uh, I mean, I love Gorillabot. it with the Argent Protector, right? Yeah. You're likely to protect it yeah. unless there's a backstab on 2. Yeah. So 3 mana Gorillabot, but also gives him a discover mech. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I think if Orange doesn't pick up a 2-drop here, it's going to be a bit clunky. Uh, that's alright. Like, if Purple's he plays... looking happy. Purple's oh, looking happy. Purple and Orange told me that if they played each other... They would be uh, kind of. They wouldn't be holding back. Like, you know, they're gonna be like loading and. Yeah. Like. Okay. They do that a lot, yeah. usually. Wow. He didn't play the protector. I thought it was good. He's trying to. Yeah. I mean, he's he to thought that. He thought that he's, he's basically trying to get protector on. Normally, you want to think about that as however amount of attack that your minion has. It's so, like you'd rather protect like a four attack minion in general because you can get that trade. But yeah, you know, he. I thought the Paladin deck was not built for that. Oh, that pick up! Mm. There, Alfalfa. Gonna do a bit of work here without Phantom Knives. Orange. A little bit too greedy. All right, though. Pretty, uh, pretty good outcome. I think purple is kind of, as you said, gloating. Yeah, it's a really good uh, ambush. Right now. On no Stable Ghoul doing nothing. No, maybe eventually, but not for I mean, long. you could just play the Heckler that you picked up off the top. Yeah, Heckler is amazing here. Is there ever another line of play that you consider? I mean, if you play the statue, is there ever a world in which there it's the only minion <laughs> oh, on the board? Wait, wait, no, no. I, when I first saw Heckler, I thought that if it's your own minion, so you can trade them to one. Oh, no, no, no. But it doesn't anyways, work. It's so any there's minion. There's no way. There's no way you play Heckler here. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's no way you play the statue there. You, you don't believe? Actually does nothing. Wow. Sick top deck there for Orange oh. picks up the Abyss, and he's gloating again. We don't know what he said, but it's probably not <coughs> nice. You cough very loudly. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. I'm good. Are you are you okay? I, I'm be, I've been better. You've been better. Yeah. Yeah. I know how that feels. So is it, it's not time for the ghoul. Not yet. Not with all those one ones. He didn't even play the Argent Protector. Kind of trying to get more value from it. I think what he's trying to do is force Orange to have AOE uh, and manage to deal with those small minions. Because if he can't, then, you know, all those one ones look like nothing, but as long as there's buffs in Paladin that you're worried about, mm -hmm. you have to start addressing them one by one, and you're wasting so I much damage. I feel like, as, uh, as Orange here, I would just say you don't care, because you can't I remove just go all phase, of them. Man. And also, because there's a stealth minion anyways, I even, know. so you, there's no way you remove the whole board for buffs. No way. Because of the stealth minion anyways. Yeah. So at this point, I'm just going to be going for it. Yeah. All face, all day. Purple is hoping there was no more threats on Orange's side, right? Because like, if there's no more threats, then you might have to slow down. Yeah. But on this exact board, why, why didn't you play the Worgen? I thought the Worgen was good. I mean, he's probably thinking that his death roll will die here, so it'll just probably get replaced his hand and the 4-2 will get killed, but who cares, right? Look at this! This is beautiful. The thing is, now Argent Horse Rider plus Oil is a pretty scary prospect. Yeah. It has a very scary prospect. Oil and the Assassin's Blade. How much damage is that? Uh, that's 6 plus 5, so 11 damage. He's going to be too off. Uh, but next, over a long period of time, it's going to... It's not quite there yet because the ghoul is enough to stall. Yeah, but the ghoul's bit. gonna kill all the ghouls. That's why you played with the uh, your statue. No, ghoul, <coughs> ghoul's all right. It's gonna buy him a little bit of time. He gets to play the dragon. Can trade two of the ones off. Yeah. Well, he had, he kind of has to, I think. So can orange win the race? Because he knows that. I mean purple, next right? Turn. Or you mean orange? Oh, orange. Yeah. Because he's nice. If he, okay, well we know he can't because they're assassinate. But from his perspective, he has to think that maybe his maybe his ghoul can buy him one more turn. So he needs to think of a way to lethal the rogue very quickly. Well, purple is a paladin. Mm -hmm. Right? I think you're right. Yeah, yeah purple's a paladin for so, sure. Yeah, there's 100% sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, assassinate kills with the ghoul. Purple's like, what the hell, dude? How do you have all the answers? What's up with this? Well, one to one. one, to one. Yeah. So. Paladin deck loss. I mean, Purple actually had an amazing opening for his deck. Yeah, well, I think the Rogue had a better opening. Yeah, the, ro the if he owned, if, he owned, if only he valued the uh, Argent Protector on the Mech Warper, would have been complete. I different. think that game would have gone his way yeah, if he had made so. that play. Because yeah. the thing is, Orange had decided not to play the Worgen, so he couldn't set up a trade plus, you know, uh, Deadly Poison, and the Ooze as well would have made a crazy difference. 
if purple had done it. We know orange picked up the double avenge deck, if I'm not mistaken. So, again, no choice over champions in that okay, deck, so I remember. Purple is the player on the top or the bottom? The bottom. Okay. Purple is always bottom, orange is always top. I know purple's deck had a lot of Merlock Knights, two Merlock Knights, right? Yeah. Those can easily take over the game. If you ever have board control and you, you just play a Merlock Knight hero power, it's like almost game over in Arena. Yeah. Like you need a meeting answer for Merlock Knight. So purple here opted not to play sorry, Acidic Swamp sorry, Ooze. Sorry, Orange sorry, apologizes sorry, for the muster, sorry, but sorry, purple sorry, doesn't sorry, care because he's got the Ooze. He cares a little bit. Mustard? I think I would. There's really no reason not to. Mm -hmm. You kill the one one, and if the paladin is, you know, is not holding on to Consec, yeah. uh, or the unstable ghoul. <clears throat> the only problem is it messed up the man curve a little bit. It should be okay though. You can always hear power. If you hear power now or next turn, it's probably going to be yeah. almost equivalent. Yeah. Except now you put up a lot more pressure. Uh, and out comes the use. And now purple's hoping there's no cog hammer slash super champion in that deck. Yeah. Orange is really trying to stick two minions for Argus because Argus is his only turn four play right now. You don't really want to just concentrate on turn oh four. Oh my wow. goodness. That could be crazy. That could get insane really <laughs> quickly. But if the Murloc Knight comes out instead of the Heckler, then Orange might feel like he's under pressure. But no, the Heckler gets played. So Fairyverse comes out, like, what can Purple really do? He doesn't have, like, the Keeper of Uldemon in hand right now. Belcher yeah. would stall quite a long time, so that might help a bit. It's so hard. Oh, that's, that is uh, good. That is really good. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I like the maybe one drop, just, two drops. Maybe you just the, the big guy. I really like the... Uh, the 7-6, maybe? I like the Gadget and Jouster into Arjun Protector on the 5-2 into hero power. It's super open to Consec, right? Like it has, he has not to have Consec. Yeah. But if he doesn't, you're in a great spot. And we know that the players do not see each other's traps, right? Yeah. We didn't really mention it, but that's the case. This would be a very easy Consec right here. Yeah. Got another one on the back end, so it's hard to say no. Well, it's gonna be pretty rough for Purple unless he picks up a Keeper of Uldaman. That is interesting. Um, I think you have to play Murloc Knight on 6. You just gotta hope. Unless you want to mill and counter pressure. <coughs> I mean, the Ventrico is actually pretty strong. Especially if you can get the uh, Argent Protector on the Ventrico. You if you're playing less, you do that, yeah. yeah. And it might happen too. There's a chance that Orange just like, recognizes, yo, I've got 12 damage on the board. I put up Defend of yeah, Argus, so I've got 14. Though. It's so dangerous because you know Palin does a lot of Divine Shield. Activated. Right, yeah. yeah. But we didn't see the Protector last game until later, so... You know, Purple only has probably one Protector mm -hmm. in the deck. Actually, I wonder if you can make the... Yeah, you play your 2-drop, you Argus on the left, so that you don't what taunt your 8-5 and you just start playing face. I like that. I mean, he can't play minions for less is, than yeah, yeah. like super is, expensive mana. The reason why it's pretty good is he has a Consecrate as well. So even if you take the, kind of the good trade with the 7-6 and the 5-4 and leave up the 7-1, he can Consecrate that right away next yeah. turn. Well, the fan of Argus for Purple is at least going to buy him a tiny bit more time from his perspective. Uh, there's very little else to do in a spot like this. You just have to hope that the opponent does not kill you. But based on what we're looking at here, it looks like uh, Consec should seal it, right? Yeah. Consec will get him through both taunts and the 8 damage to the face. Yep. Fairyver is MVP. Purple is in disbelief that his crappy Platinum has lost to a good Platinum. They're having fun, man. They're having yeah. fun. This tournament is pretty fun. Have you have you been enjoying the casualness uh, of it? Yeah, yeah. It, it's a nice break from how constructed it is right now. Good. Yeah. You're not, you're not chewing your words uh, and just trying to mm -hmm. put it another way. You're not mincing them. No. Okay. Strife Pro, do you like constructed right now? Nope. Not that much. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're with us. Yeah. Game's good. So we'll be taking a short break, guys, before the next draft will come out. There's Admirable who has to play, and uh, d d who else? Dog? Dog, hasn't, Dog, played Dog, Dog hasn't, played. hasn't played. Dog hasn't played. So it's going to be Dog, I think, versus Admirable um, as the last roster. So we'll be back, guys. Before we go, quick shout out to Fanatic Gear. Crazy mouse pads. Do you want those? Mm, no? Maybe. Okay, sure. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good yeah, enough. Maybe. Twitch as well, and Jelly Belly. Let's not forget about Jelly Belly. There's a current giveaway going on right now on Twitter. Uh, if you want to maybe try to guess who's going to end up with the most Amaz points at the end of the day one, you just tweet at, uh, at AmazHS at everything 
at Fnatic Gear, you might get yourself some Fnatic Gear if you're correct. Um, do you think you're gonna get the most points at uh, the end of day one? I think so. Redful so. is on. I think hey, you bet on I just you. got some odds. This is four thousand nine hundred. You you, lost, you needed to lose a hundred, but nobody did it. But I won. But you had a five hundred penalty for having Keeper Wildemon down. Five hundred penalty? Yeah. Five hundred? You, no. you 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 dropped the ball, Strive Crow. Oh no. It's cool. You deserve it. Okay. It's your fault. You got some odds. But it's fine. You're still pretty close to the top. Yeah. There's a lot. There's like place. a four way tie at the top there. Um, five way tie. Yeah. So we'll have a. Uh, myself is. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, you're like second place. Yeah. So Dog versus Admirable will be coming up right next. We'll have Admirable with the uh, the Amaz curse removed, so he's got the advantage. But Dog is a master rogue player and might just get the best draft. Yeah. So we'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned for intense Hearthstone action.